and welcome back to another riveting, exciting thing of Polar Radiance. I don't want the show dies. Okay, we want uh, this one here. Me need a better viewpoint. Me need a viewpoint. Me need a better viewpoint. You know what? Fine. Send a fireball down that way. Me need a better viewpoint. Send a fireball somewhere. Over here, I guess. Okay, kind of a waste of a fireball there, but... Well, maybe not. Now I can move all my characters up here. Rarg! Rarg! Oh, you hit him. Good job. No, don't move. No, don't move. Stay there. Uh -huh. Don't hurt me. Oh, you hurt. I told you not to hurt me. Right, you know what? Um, what's a good spell to use? Bless, maybe? I don't know. I'm just going to use it anyway. Because it's going to bless all of our characters. Hooray, I suppose. Alright. Well, if, if, if anything comes to worse... Blah, blah, blah. If, any, if it gets worse, all I have to do is load the autosave. Which will be nice, because it will save right there in a better viewpoint. Heh. <laughs> okay. Which I'm hoping I can kill this guy with all my characters intact. That'd be very nice. Be very nice of the game to allow me to do that. And knowing my luck, I probably won't. Don't hurt me. Loser. On your feet. I hope. On your feet. Nope. Not quite. Erg. Okay. Okay. Well, he's only at negative three, so maybe he can actually hold out. Spell penetration feet. Yay. Okay. Alright, now this is getting a little tiffy. Just keep stacking. <laughs> I don't like this. Stupid black rat cat. Why a black rat cat? Seriously. Fine, we'll hit you. No, we won't hit you. Not full strength. We're not gonna make that mistake. No flaccid arrow. I might be able to get him. I should be able to. This stacking of acid is doing well. Yes, turns out it is actually acid, as one of my subscribers actually had told me that it's acid and not technically not poison. So that's why it affects undead as well. Don't hurt me! Oh, you. Mm, I hate you! I hate you so much. Let's not do a mouse acid or let's do all these magic missiles. So Oh yay. Congratulations. Alright, 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 you. What we can actually do with you is go. Go, go, go. Oh, he's stabilized now. That's all I need, just for him to get stabilized. Let's, um... Come over here. On the dead woman's tunic, a symbol of silver flames has been slashed and torn. Someone has turned the corpse into a totem of evil, which has drawn the spawn pool up from its hellish source. Well, I you know what we're going to do. We're going to remove the sword from her. I am free. As you pull the blade out, the corpse seems to come to life. The goddess of the weave hears the cry and reclaims the devoted follower with a purifying flame. Once the evil abomination is gone, the spawn pool dries up and fresh water begins to flow from the city's great pumps. Looking at the sword you claimed, you notice a strange design on its hilt. An intricate pattern of silver flames surrounding a blue-white star. Very pretty. Can be used by clerics. I like that a lot. Okay, okay then. These things are all dead. This is all dead. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Now let's go say hello to our little dwarf friend that was in there. Ugh. That's terrible. 
Absolutely terrible. We lost two guys. Well, we didn't lose two guys. We lost our one guy. Hello, Harlodain Iron Bar. We need your wise words of wisdomness. Talk to me. Can you hear me? Can you? I, I see you can. Oh, stiff I be. If a ghost can be stiff. Too long I've been sinking into stone, I struggling while my blood turns to tar and my thoughts to lead. Um, hmm. What do we say? What exactly are you talking about? Are you falling asleep so this house be headed for ruin? I be tied to this place, you see? It's stone be my home, it's pump my heart. Blah. What goes on inside this house, I be aware of, I feel it. I, just as, just as I once felt air in my lungs and blood in my veins. Rawr! Oh my goodness. Uh, so I have seen ya and know your tough metal with the Iraq cat's eye and the O-rogs and the, who's what? Glavin? Glavins from the Cult of the Dragon. Oh, okay. You cleanse the water you did, and so I know you be the ones to bring back the city spires, or none will. Ah, uh, fire sent us. I suppose he did. About the only use of a tome full of a mage ever be. Aha. Except, except the spires. The spires be the rarest of the rare magic that be useful. You have seen the tall spires here and there in the city, have you not? And the orrery, the big pigmatoc in the speculum. I suppose so. Oh my gosh heavens, why is this all texted? The orrery, twould be, twould use the motion of the planets to move you around spires and twinkling. Oh yeah, I know what those things are now. I know what he's talking about. Twas easy to move around then, the orrery spinning like a top to the children chasing after another... Chasing each other from spare to spare to spare, crossing the whole city on the shake of a stick. We dwarves call carved fine stones for the or no or ori ori, I think. Beautiful stones, green, blue, red, orange, and white, the colors of the planets. Really, but during the dark days, we stopped the ore and took out the stone planets and bound them in metal. Because if not bound, the planets fly back to the ori. So strong be the life we carve in them. Carve in them. I see. I have seen you carry one of the planets with you. Here, I call it forth. Karabazan. Thank you. Now I break its bonds and... Yahoo! It flies away to the ori. Back to the speculum where it belongs. Here, if you find any more of these stones, free them from their cages if you can. So the spires might live again. Where might one be found? At least one of the planets be down in the catacombs, oh no. Or so I heard from someone who dwells there. You know the catacombs, the oaf, oaf, yeah, the oaf warrens under the castle? Oh, of course you yeah, don't. No way to get them now. All the common ways blocked up long ago. Uh, but there be an old way, old way, eh? To use the wizard's torque and pass through the circle, and I see how the wizard's torque with ya, which be... That which be lost all these years. So let me have your treasure so I can combine it with one of my own, the Star Stone. Yes, that's what I wanted. For the torque to, for the torque be not complete, you see. Uh, you a layer the silent, wrench the Star Stone out of it. He knew the speculum be lost, and he hoped against hope the army of darkness would not take Castle Common Thor once the torque be made useless. With the wizard's torque complete, a true heart may stand in the circle of Ular and open the gate to the catacombs on the castle. Oh, thank you very much. Can you touch it now, please? <laughs> I don't want to read anymore. First, I must tell you, I have a collection, eh? Excellent weapons, fine armor, oh yes. Prizes plucked from unlucky travelers or from the stiff hands of robbers who thought they were horde unguarded. For ya, yeah, I'd be persuaded, maybe depart with a piece or two, for a price. 
Now I take the wizard's torque and tap the star stone where it belongs. There! With this, you can enter the castle of Ular in the silent and open the gate to the catacombs. And I leveled! Ooh, Solantra has leveled. Yay! Ooh. Mm-hmm. Catacombs. Invisibility. Play invisibility. Meh. Cat's grave, maybe? Um, but because we're gonna do blindness. Why not? Ooh. And we will do. Ooh, it's all undead. Three undead creatures! Okay. Uh, I suppose that would work. Mmm, sure. And we'll do completion, I guess. And you leveled. Well, time's up, so I'll see you later. Bye.